Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel, Wolf of the Wild. My name is Holly Wolf. I wanted to make a video about my very sexual viral strawberry tower. <laughs> That's what this is behind me. Yep, good times. <laughs> on this guy behind me. I actually uh, saw something really cool online when I was trying to kind of brainstorm on how to create more vertical spaces and vertical planters for my garden because this is quite a little small space. I wanted to utilize as much of it as possible and create things that had, oh my God, bleh, that had height on them. So I came across something called a strawberry tower or just a planter tower in general. And uh, I will link the source below that I used as kind of like a blueprint reference. And actually I do think you can buy the blueprints for like $5 for those of you who want to make one yourself. I cannot tell you how many questions, how many times I've been asked if I built this. Yes, I built this. And secondly, how I built it and I will I always answer that saying like it was it was bitch it was a pain like my brain hurt <laughs> and not because I'm you know not smart or mathematic but the thing is because it is a triangle it has two separate angle cuts to it which made it pretty intense and uh believe it or not I did 80% of the cuts free-handed which was a very headachey uh, idea of mine um, <laughs> and my dad actually Kobu what are you doing come here what are you doing hey don't do that Kobu what are you she's digging a hole what are you digging a hole for? Are you crazy? Oh, I see you. Yes. Oh, yes. Really? Kovu. Don't do that, okay? You butthead. <laughs> She's digging a hole. I just seen it this area. My God. Worst doggo. You're a monster. <laughs> Anyways, so I freehanded most of it. And then my dad actually brought his big table saw. I think it's called a table saw. <laughs> he brought his big saw down and finished the last few cuts for me. Since these pieces up here are so tiny, obviously I couldn't freehand them. Um, and his saw does multiple angles, which, yeah, was what I should have been using from the get-go. But uh, it was a project. It was really fun. If I were to do it again, and people have asked me for a tutorial on it, I would do it properly and not freehand it which was just a headache on my part. So it did take me several days um, to get it done, but it was really awesome and I do really like it. Uh, the one thing I will say though, is because the higher tiers of the planter um, have less soil in them, they dry up faster. And I actually lost they, like at least the top two strawberry plants of each side because I was watering them all the same amount and the tops would dry out much faster than the bottom just because of the volume of the amount of soil in there. So that is something that I would keep in mind if you decide to build one of these because yeah, you just, you, it just needs either you need to water it more or secondly, uh, fill it with substances that do keep and absorb water more so a mulch or something like that wood chips and Or thirdly, I would just not have the same type of plant up there I would use something that can handle less water like succulents or just something like really cute that just doesn't require much watering and maybe just have the top half of the planter more ornamental I actually don't think I'll grow strawberries again. To be honest, I think I might try different plants on each side um, and just make it really pretty next year. I'm not sure if it's the type of strawberries 
that I got from the store or what, but I have barely seen, or I haven't barely seen fruit, but I've seen a lot of fruit, but they're extremely small strawberries. Like I kid you not, let me see if I can find one. So they're very small. As you can see, it's literally like the size of one of my nails. So they're really small, which that kind of sucks. This one looks pretty clean. How? Mm. They're amazing. I'm not going to lie. Like, the fruit is amazing and it tastes really, really, really good. But it's just, <laughs> they're small. And they have really good strawberries at the farmer's market. So honestly, I think I might try planting something else there next year. I'm really not sure what yet. I was on Twitch and I was actually putting some of these strawberries in and I was wearing, I wasn't wearing booty shorts, but I was wearing shorts and my butt tends to eat things. Um, and I went extremely viral for my strawberry tower and um, my booty shorts because people were like, holy crap, wow, shorts on Twitch. And it was really, really funny, um, but it was really nice and it, I will honestly say it was like really refreshing because a majority of the people were like, yeah, she's wearing shorts, whatever. There's like a tiny bit of butt there, it's whatever. But dude, did she build that planter? And I was like, oh my God, yay. And thank you for noticing the strife and pain I went through to build this thing. Cause like I said, it was a lot of effort. So here's a closer look at the planter. It looks beautiful. Like I must say in general, it looks so cool in the garden. Let me back up. Oh, also, let's just, let me show you what Kovu was doing. Why did, Kovu, why are you digging holes? I'm trying to see this area. So that's what it looks like in the garden space. It's really lovely. And like I said, it works out so well. Like it's so pretty and I love the height that it provides. And I really like that you're able to just have more vertical plants there. Like I said, I don't think I'm gonna do strawberries next year. I might do, what is she doing? Don't you dare, Kovu. Hey, stop it. I might do maybe some more herbs or I might do herbs and flowers because I think having more flowers in the middle of my green space would be lovely because what it does is it attracts bees and butterflies and things that will pollinate all the veggies. So I actually added this guy because I wanted more flowers and just colors to attract those bugs and those insects. So caterpillars and butterflies and bees are attracted to the color, right? So they see color and they go for that and that's how you're able to get things pollinated. So I put in these beautiful fake flower lights I have some echinacea over there. I have some flowers on the sides here. But like I said, I kind of want to get more in the middle here because I have noticed that I am getting like, you know, lots of things pollinated, but more is better. So yeah. But anyways, like I said, look how, like, so these guys, as you can tell, dried up, right? And they dried up pretty fast. So that, definitely needs help when it comes to the water. And again, if I actually did this again, what I would do is I would make the middle part hollow. So in the middle here is a four by four with these guys cut accordingly to make that beautiful angle on the top. And then they cascade down. The bottom actually has, you know, it's four sides and a T in the middle to help stabilize that and the core, the four by four. So what would be really cool though, I don't know how I would do it, but I would somehow try to build in a watering system inside. So say make the middle part a tube, like hollow on the inside and holes everywhere. I, I don't know, there has to be a way to do it, but I would definitely try to help water this thing from the inside out because as you can see it's dry and it gets dry really fast out of all the planters in my garden space obviously um the, the tower gets the most sun 
so it dries out and it just, I don't know, it just dries so much faster than other things. Here's another little baby strawberry. There's more coming. I've got tons, but like I said, they're very small. So I don't know how I'm going to pick this guy and eat him. Yum. I don't know if I would do, oh God, that's good though. I don't know if I would do strawberries again next year. I don't know if it's the, the type I got or what, but the yield was just not as good as I thought it would be. I would love to have something that's more colorful in here, not just green with the tiniest baby strawberries. So I'm gonna continue to experiment over the years and see what I like. Wow, look at that. Oh, look at that ring. Oh, that's beautiful. And like I said, as you can see, there's two cuts in here, right? So there's obviously the angle cut this way for this side of the planter. And then of course the angle cut, like the actual true angle. Well, there's a totally spider in there that you need for this. So this guy has two angles, two degrees. For the most part, they both range around the 30 to 31, especially for this guy. It's not quite a 45, it's more like a 30, um, between 30 and 35. And this guy is basically, I had to do it as I went. Um, you would cut one side, and as you see, I didn't quite do things perfectly. Um, a little, some of them aren't perfect. Some of them are not as um, out as others. This guy's really far in, so, you know, it was my first time building something like this and I am not the best at woodworking. I am not amazing. I am not a beautiful angled <laughs> woodworking type person. So, you know. So yeah, guys, that's basically my strawberry tower. Like I said, I will link all of the references that I had below so you guys can um, get a little bit more information on how I made it. Uh, and what I use for reference, and I'll also include a blog for it, for mine. Um, I'll include lots of photos down below of the process, of how I built it and everything like that. I didn't film it because it was, like I said, one of the first things I built in my garden and I just didn't, <gasps> I feel like I didn't have the mental capacity to be vlogging and filming this while trying to figure out how to do it because I'm cheap and I didn't buy the blueprints and I went off photos alone and my brain just wanted to explode. <laughs> so yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. There is so much more coming to this channel. So I hope you really enjoy it and I'm really excited to just show you like more of my garden and, D and DIYs and woodworking and all that kind of stuff. So yeah guys, peace out, love you lots and please make sure you follow my Instagrams. Talk to you later, bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>